Hey everyone, Complex back with another video and today, today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite topics. That's right, we're talking about the Anthem demo that is due to arrive kinda sorta soon. Um, there are two demos happening, we're going to have the VIP demo and the open demo and I just wanted to chat with you about like when, what to expect, all that good stuff. So let's just kind of start getting into the nitty gritty of it. The Anthem VIP demo is from January 25th to January 27th. It is open to EA Access subscribers and Origin Access subscribers, as well as anybody that has pre-ordered the game. And then they have an open demo, which is exactly what it sounds. It's open. You don't need a subscription. You don't need to pre-order the game. Nothing. You can just, you can test this out. And that is happening from February 1st to February 3rd. And the good news is, if you are part of the VIP demo, you do not need to download anything new for the open demo. Which is nice because, I mean, who got time for that kind of thing? You know what I mean? <laughs> so for both demos, what can you expect? It's a tiny slice of life of the game. So you'll be able to do some limited free play. I'm gonna assume there are a few like smaller mission kind of things. And then you'll have access to a stronghold. Um, and you'll get to also use like the customization slash the forge. You'll get to kind of like play around, walk around Fort Tarsus for, you know, whatever av areas available to you. Then you'll get to, like I said, use, um, explore some of the, the limited free play space, which free play is when you can literally just like head out into the world and roam around. Um, if you play like Warframe, it would be similar to literally just like going out into the Plains of Eidolon or Orb Valis and just like going out and walking around and not necessarily having a quest. So um, that's kind of where they're going with that. Um, and the other thing is the website for the open demo has said that you'll be able to use the ranger plus one other javelin. And then Michael Gamble a few weeks ago on Twitter had mentioned that all the javelins were going to be available during the VIP demo. I'm not sure which is going to happen. I'm more inclined to believe Michael Gamble because A, that information is newer and B, it's, <laughs> it's Michael Gamble. Um, so uh, bear in mind, you'll either have like ranger plus one or you'll literally have access to ranger interceptor storm and colossus i'm personally hoping to have access to all four even though i'm the most excited for the ranger personally i don't know the ranger just speaks to me it speaks my language but i'm excited for all of them i know a lot of people in in our little community are very excited for the interceptor and storm i have got a few people excited for the colossus i mean guys it's all it's all exciting um, the other thing is, I don't think we're going to have access to the teased javelin that was at the NVIDIA CES presentation slash, um, mini trailer. And if you haven't seen that, I will try to find a link for it and link it down below. Um, worst case, I'll link you the tweet that NVIDIA has with the video of it. Um, and you can see at the end, there's like this, this little javelin that we've never seen before. And I'm curious, I need to know more. Hopefully we get more soon. If not, it'll be a nice surprise. Actually, a fifth javelin was a wicked nice surprise. I was like, what? I, I literally got a little too excited. But anyways, I digress. I'm totally getting off topic right now. <laughs> the one thing I did want to mention to you guys before going any further is to bear in mind, this is a demo. And this isn't an alpha. This isn't a beta. That, nothing like that. This is literally a tiny slice of the game to see if you're going to enjoy it. So if you're on the fence about whether or not Anthem is the game for you or you're not sure if you actually want to purchase the game, you don't know if you're going to have fun with it, you don't know if you're going to like javelins or anything like that, this is the perfect opportunity to dive in, give the game a good test, see if it's for you. I mean, if you're playing the open demo, you've got three days to kind of hop in. But go around, try out stuff, try out the customization, try out the combat, try out a stronghold, which is the like bigger um, kind of like end game mission thing. It's generally done with four people um, and that's where you can get some some really good stuff. Also, just it, they look fun from what we've seen on the um, the live streams. So speaking of progression and being able to try out different things, the one thing I did want to mention is that it was mentioned on Twitter by Michael Gamble. Uh, the XP curve slash general in-game progression has been made a little bit easier. Um, 
than you'll get in the real game. They want to make sure that no matter how much time you have to play the, the demo, that you still have time to level up, time to kind of go through and earn stuff, time to like use the customization and all that stuff. And also to facilitate that, they're going to start everybody with 100 coin. And the coin is the in-game currency for Anthem. That's a currency that you earn in the world. Um, and you can use that for various things, including the customization, I believe. They're going to be reducing the price of some of the customization to either 20 or 25 coin. I'm not sure which. Um, but in the game itself, when it launches for, for cereals... <laughs> It'll be, uh, the, the, those prices will have changed. Um, and I'm not sure too how much or anything like that. Like, there is no numbers for that, but it will change. So there's that. The other thing is that there are a decent amount of things that are going to be locked in the demo. I imagine we're not going to have access to all the, the vendors, not access to, like, everything that'll be available in the open game. Because, like I said many times, this is a slice of the game. So that is something to bear in mind, that what you're playing isn't everything that you're going to be getting down the road so that's kind of where we stand right now for for the demo um oh the one thing i did want to mention before anything else is that the progression will not carry over so your demo progression is just demo progression they're going to start us i believe at level 10 and we get to progress up to level 15 and then that's that kind of thing you're not going to be able to take this with you into the base game you'll you start from scratch so bear that in mind we should be able to repeat certain things I don't know if we'll get to make multiple characters. I believe we should be able to, but I'm not 100% sure. So we'll see that when we get there. Hopefully we will, because that'd be fun. Other than that, though, I think that that's everything I wanted to chat with you lovely people about for the demo. Um, I will be live streaming the VIP demo for sure. So if that's something that you're kind of curious about, you want to see some live gameplay, you want to ask me questions, anything like that, the link for Twitch is down below. Feel free to come over, say hi. You know the drill. I love hearing from you guys. I want to know from you. Are you excited for the Anthem demo? Are you going to be playing the Anthem demo? What? Tell me. I want to know. You know me. I want to know. All right, guys. Thank you all so, so much for joining me. It has been a blast, as always, getting to hang out with you guys. And um, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.